Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Yusuf. The royal court announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will depart tomorrow for Saudi Arabia to lead the kingdom's delegation to the 43rd session of the summit of the Supreme Council of the GCC. His Majesty will also help Bahrain's delegation to the Riyadh GCC China Summit for Cooperation and Development and the Riyadh Arab China Summit for Cooperation and Development at the invitation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Saudi Minister of Islamic Affairs, Da'wah and Guidance, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Sheikh at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of the long standing and multifaceted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which continue to be reinforced by the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness noted the joint commitment of both countries to further cooperation in achieving common aspirations. He welcomed from Dr. Al Sheikh to Bahrain, noting the importance of continuing to build on the deep rooted integration between the two kingdoms and develop plans that will strengthen bilateral relations. During the meeting, the efforts of the two countries in promoting and spreading the values of moderation, tolerance, and coexistence were discussed, including the importance of upholding these values as a core pillar that contributes to ensuring peace that benefits all. His Royal Highness highlighted Saudi Arabia's influential role in championing the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations. The Saudi the Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening bilateral relations through striving towards greater integration, which will bring positive impact and benefits both countries and peoples. He wished Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf Al Maouda, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting of the Supreme Commission at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted that the noble deeds of the Kingdom's loyal servicemen have been etched into Bahrain's history. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the BDF, the Ministry of Interior, the National Guard, the National Intelligence Agency and all military and security personnel for safeguarding the Kingdom's sovereignty, security and safety. In so support of the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness expressed the Kingdom's respect, appreciation and eternal gratitude for the fallen servicemen who bravely sacrificed their lives to defend the Kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted that these servicemen faithfully fulfilled their oath and their loyalty to the Kingdom has become a symbol of pride and honor. His Royal Highness noted the importance of continuing to support the families of fallen servicemen in appreciation of their sacrifices and highlighted the important role played by the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen in this regard. His Royal Highness also praised the efforts of the Fund's administrators and their commitment to ensuring that the needs of fallen servicemen's families are met. The most prominent topics on the Fund's agenda were reviewed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Ambassador of China to Bahrain, Anwar Habiballah at Rafah Palace, to mark the end of the Ambassador's service in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahrain-China relations and the importance of furthering cooperation and coordination to benefit both countries and achieve common goals. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes to the Ambassador in his future endeavors. During the meeting, issues of common interest and regional and global developments were discussed. The Ambassador expressed gratitude for the the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted his continued support to further Bahrain-China relations. He also wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain continues to attract and host major international championships that contribute to achieving the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King and making the kingdom a destination for hosting sporting events. His Highness praised the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which increases the contribution of the sports aspect to the kingdom's economic vision 2030. On the occasion of the launch of the Middle East 
Ironman Championship. His Highness said that the continuous successes achieved by the kingdom in hosting major sporting events have made the world turn towards Bahrain, which is the ultimate goal to continuously promote the kingdom. His Highness added that everyone will exert further efforts to record a new success to be added to the series of achievements of the kingdom through an ideal organization of the Middle East Ironman Championship. His Highness wished all participants success and praised the efforts of the organizers of the championship. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the Saudi Minister of Islamic Affairs, Dawa and Guidance, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Sheikh. The Deputy Premier highlighted the steady growth of the Bahraini Saudi relations across various fields thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He stressed the importance of building on the achievements that support integration between the two brotherly countries in light of the ongoing support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. And his Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He praised the role of Saudi Arabia in playing in serving Islam and spreading the principles of moderation among all. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed hope that cooperation between the two Islamic affairs ministries in the two countries will be strengthened in the next phase, which will reflect positively on the service of Islamic work between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The Saudi minister expressed gratitude to the Deputy Prime Minister, affirming that the deep-rooted solid relations between the two countries and their peoples enjoy the constant support of their leaderships. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah was presented with a copy of the Holy Quran from the Saudi minister, which is issued by the King Fahad complex for the printing of the Holy Quran in Medina. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Saudi Minister of Islamic Affairs, Dawa and Guidance, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Sheikh, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain. Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed hailed the deep rooted historic relations and the prosperity it is witnessing that reflects the keenness of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques towards bolstering bilateral relations in various fields, including the Islamic. The CIA President expressed appreciation for Saudi Arabia's vital role in defending the nation and its cause and its exceptional role in serving the Quran, Sharia, and the two holy mosques, the holy sites, pilgrims and visitors. The Saudi Minister of Islamic Affairs expressed thanks and pride in the meeting and appreciation for Bahrain, its leadership and people, commending the strong bilateral brotherly relations. He also expressed appreciation for the SCIA's experience in Bahrain and its significant role in serving Islamic causes and topics. The two sides discussed a number of Islamic topics and the means of bolstering bilateral relations to support the two sides' approaches in performing their duties and achieving their common goals and aspirations. The Minister of Labor and Director General of the International Labor Organization, Jamil Ahmedan, met with the ILO Director General, Gilbert Hongbo, on the sideline of the 17th ILO Asia and the Pacific Regional Meeting in Singapore. Ahmedan praised the cooperation between Bahrain and the ILO and its support for many labor programs and initiatives launched by Bahrain. The Minister and the Director General discussed topics of common interest and reviewed strategic plans adopted by Bahrain to raise employment rates within the framework of the economic recovery plan launched by the government. In addition to the initiatives and programs that Bahrain implemented in cooperation with employers and employees within the framework of continuous care of labor force rights, ensuring equality between the various categories of workers and combating all forms of discrimination and human trafficking. The President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, participated in the 23rd edition of the Conference of Ministers Responsible for Cultural Affairs in the Arab World, held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The President stressed the importance of joint Arab action in order to improve the cultural movement in the Arab countries, noting that the conference is an opportunity to exchange views and benefit from all experiences. The President stressed that Bahrain is always seeking to strengthen its relations with Arab countries and various cultural aspects, and to shed light on the common elements between their societies in terms of language, ideology, heritage and history. 
The conference discussed many topics, including the main theme of the current session titled Culture and Green Future, which reflected the importance of developing a more sustainable green cultural policies. The president of Cyprus, Nikos Anastasiades, received the credentials of the ambassador of Bahrain to Cyprus, Khalid Yusuf Al Jalahma, residing in Tel Aviv. The ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Cypriot President and their wishes of progress and prosperity to Cyprus and its people. He expressed pride in representing Bahrain and Cyprus and the keenness to strengthen friendship and cooperation and activate them in various fields for the benefits of the two friendly countries and people. The president asked the ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and wishes of further development and prosperity for Bahrain, its government and people. He also wished the ambassador success in his diplomatic duties to strengthen bilateral relations in various fields, stressing his country's readiness to support and facilitate his duties. On the occasion of Bahrain's celebration of its National Day, the Ministry of Interior, in the presence of the Maharra Governor Salman bin Hadi al-Mannai, organized a public field parade with the participation of a number of directorates from the ministry, the police band, mounted police and motorcycles. The celebration started from the security complex in Maharraq, passing through Sheikh Hamad Road to the Casino Garden. The event attracted a large number of citizens and residents who expressed appreciation for Bahrain's police and gratitude for the security efforts exerted to protect the country and its people. They also expressed admiration for the parade and its role in bolstering the spirit of citizenship and loyalty. Bahrain's embassy in Belgium held a celebration marking Bahrain National Day in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed al-Fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Bahrain's ambassador to Belgium, Luxembourg and European Union and the NATO, Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabr al-Dosiri, expressed appreciation and pride in the occasion, congratulating His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and expressing his sincere wishes of further progress and prosperity prosperity for the kingdom. He also shed light on Bahrain's vital role in establishing regional and international security and stability and its keenness on achieving further development and prosperity. The first Arab International Cybersecurity Conference and Exhibition concluded with the participation of cybersecurity experts from various countries. The conference aimed to promote innovation in the field of cybersecurity and highlighted global initiatives and the latest trends in this field. The conference was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister at Exhibition World Bahrain in Asghir. Shedding light on cybersecurity, which became a main pillar of the information and communication sector in the world to confront cyber risks. Bahrain's organization of the conference confirms the special importance of cybersecurity as it contributes to providing cyber protection for all sectors, as Bahrain is one of the leading countries in the region that has been keen to develop the infrastructure of information and communication technology and digital transformation.